Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I am excited to start a brand new series on Cambridge Primary Science Learners Book 5. This series is designed to help students understand the key concept of science in a simple way. In today's video, we will be covering topic 1.1. We will read through the topic and go over some question and answer sessions to deepen our understanding. At the end of the video, I will also provide a link to a worksheet that you can use to access your understanding of this topic. So let's get started. Unit 1 Life Cycles of Flowering Plants Flowering and Non-Flowering Plants Plants with Flowers Many plants have flowers. They are called flowering plants. There are many different kinds of flowers. Some flowers are big, some flowers are small. Some flowers are colorful. Some flowers are not brightly colored. Some flowers have a smell, a scent. Others do not have a scent. Plant life cycles. All flowers do the same important job. Can you think what it is? When a plant produces flowers, the flowers usually last only a few days. Then they die and fall off the plant. However, part of the flower stays behind on the plant. This part becomes the fruit. The seeds form inside the fruit. The seeds grow into new plants. The new plants grow and produce flowers to form new fruits and seeds. So flowers help the plant reproduce to form new plants. All the changes in a flowering plant from flowers to seeds growing into new plants are called the plant's life cycle. A cycle is something that happens over and over again. There are different stages in the life cycle of a flowering plant. Plants without flowers. Not all plants have flowers. Plants without flowers are called non-flowering plants. Mosses, ferns, and plants with cones are non-flowering plants. Some non-flowering plants such as ferns and mosses do not form seeds. Instead, they make tiny spores that can grow into new plants. Other non-flowering plants such as pine trees do form seeds. But their seeds form in a cone and not from a flower. Question answers. Number one. Name an example of a flowering plant that you have seen or know of. Answer is rose. Number two, name an example of a non flowering plant that you have seen or know of. Answer is fern. Question number three, in what ways are flowering plants different from non flowering plants? Answer is number one, reproduction. Flowering Plants use seeds, non flowering plants use spores. Number two, structure. Flowering plants have flowers and fruits, non flowering plants don't. Question number four Why don't we usually find flowers and fruits on a peach tree at the same time? Answer is first, the tree has flowers, after flowers fall off, Fruit starts to grow. Question. Put the stages in the right order. Answer. The correct order is seed, seedling, adult plant, flower, and bean pod. Question. Why do we make life cycle drawings in a circle? Answer. We draw life cycles in a circle to show that life cycles are continuous and repeat over time.
the parts of a flower. Flowers have four main parts. These parts are arranged in rings, one inside the other. Most flowering plants have flowers with both male and female parts. But some plants have flowers with only male parts or female parts, not both. Look at the picture. Petals, often brightly colored to attract insects to the flower. Stigma, sticky to catch pollen. Anther, makes a powder called pollen. Filament, the stalk of anther. Stamen, the male part of the flower. Carpel, the female part of the flower. Sepals, little green leaves that protect the flower bird. Ovary, contains tiny eggs. Question answers. Number one is, describe the function of each of these parts of a flower. Petals, attract pollinators with their color and scent. Anthers, produce and release pollen. Stigma, capture and hold pollen grains. Ovary, produce ovules and develop into fruit after fertilization. Number two, which part of the flower makes scent? Answer is petals, produce the fragrance to attract pollinators. Question number three. Why are some flowers dark reddish brown with a scent like rotting wheat? Answer is to attract specific pollinators like flies and beetles. These insects are drawn to the smell of decay, facilitating the flower's pollination. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video where we will explore topic 1.2. Until then, keep learning. Allah Hafiz.